Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to determine whether the curve is the graph of a function of x. If it is, state the domain and range of the function. So the first thing we're going to do is determine whether it's a function. We're going to do that using the vertical line test, which states that if we put a vertical line through a function, at no point can it intersect more than twice. So we're going to use the pen to represent this. And as we pass through, we can see that no matter where we put a vertical line, it's always going to intersect once, except potentially right here. At this point, we can see that the function is approaching from two sides, and we might have two different values for the same x value. However, if you look here, this is an open circle, which means that the function approaches it, but does not actually include this point. Meanwhile, we have a closed circle here, so it does include this point. So the only function value at this x value is up here and not down here. So therefore, it is a function, since no matter where you put a vertical line, there is only one intersection, right? That is to say, for any x value, there's only one y value. So now, now that we know it's a function, we have to state the domain and the range. The domain is the x values that the function can take on. So we're going to start from as far left as we can go and move to the right. So we start here at x is equal to negative 3. And as we go, we go, we go, all the way up to here, up to negative 2, but not including negative 2. So this includes negative 3, so we do a bracket, not including negative 2, so we have a parenthesis. However, this is including this stretch of the function right here. This starts at negative 2, inclusive because of the closed dot. And we go all the way over here, and we end here at x is equal to 2. Another closed bracket, even if I can't draw it properly. So what we have actually is not two separate functions, but one continuous function, because this goes up to negative 2, and this goes up to negative 2. So we can combine the two, because they include negative 2 at least on this side. So this is negative 3 union 2, which makes sense. Any x value in this range, we can find a point on the function. Next, we have the range, which is all the y values that the function can take. This is going to be a little bit different because of the break in the function. It will actually be two separate intervals, like right here. So we start at the lowest point, which is negative 3. And in a similar way, as the last one, it goes up to negative 2, but it doesn't include negative 2 because we have an open circle. And then we jump up to negative 1, inclusive, and then that goes all the way up to the maximum value, which is 3, and then goes back down again and doesn't hit any new, any new values. So, ignoring this, this is your final domain, this is your final range for the graph, which is a function.